Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a duck. It's not complicated. Let's start. First, let us boil some water. Two gingerish. A little bit of uh, cooking wine. Add the duck into the boiling water. Do not boil it too long time. Two minutes is good enough. And then when the duck is hot, you can clean clean it. You see those We need to completely remove those things. Okay, now the duck is ready. We're going to add those ingredients. Soy sauce. It's about 150 or 200 mils. This is soy sauce again, but this is a very dark and thicker one. This one you need just about 150 mils. Cooking wine. Two teaspoons. And this is the vinegar. Vinegar, you're gonna need two teaspoons. You're gonna need some uh, crystal sugar. You can put just regular sugar. Like this regular sugar, you can put it there too. This is the uh, chicken broth mix. Just one teaspoon, one small teaspoon is good enough. And some salt. I put three. This is uh, garlic, green onion, ba jiao, ginger, the water needs to almost cover the duck. Now just heat it, heat it for about 25 minutes. But you just need to wait until uh, you see the water started to boil, then you count the time. So during the cooking, uh, you need to be a little bit careful. My container is a little bit small, so the water could be boiled in and overflow it. Uh, you need to uh, spray those water on the top of the duck and after some time we need to turn over it if you have a bigger container it's gonna be better during the cooking you need to know when it's ready so it's easy you know, use a chopstick or anything. Just, see, just insert it. But now it's very hard. You see the bloody water? It, it means it's not ready yet. 
So when you see, when you do it like this and then you don't see any bloody water, then you feel, okay, now the duck is ready, it's cooked. Okay, now let's check. Ah. Ah, so, you see you don't see any bloody water, any bloody juice coming out. See? So, which means it's already ready now. But today my container is too small, so I cannot use a high heat. I just use a low heat, so I take a long time, over 50 minutes. So if you have bigger container, you can use high heat, then 25 minutes and 30 minutes should be enough. So now it's okay. So we can turn off the heat. Let it cool down in the uh, container. Now the duck has been kept in the container for over two hours. The duck is not hot. And the good flavor of the soup has been transferred to the duck. Now the duck actually is ready to eat, but uh, today I'm gonna keep it here overnight, let it dry, and tomorrow I'm gonna roast it in the oven to make the skin crispy. See, this way making duck is very easy, right? I have been using this way for quite a few times. Every time it's successful, the taste is very good. Um, another good benefit of this way is the soup here. So you can use this soup to cook any meat without adding any other ingredient. Very delicious. Okay, the duck has been kept here for uh, about 20 hours. It's dry now, so we can now Put it into the oven to roast it for 8 to 10 minutes at about 400 Fahrenheit. Okay, time's up. It looks beautiful. Let me taste it. I want to taste the skin. Mmm. Very tasty and crispy. But frankly, it's not as crispy as the real packing roast duck. But it's good enough. I'm so happy about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.